I'm about to take you on my morning walk with me, but I, I just want to tell you this, that there's an important message for you at the end of this video today. And let me ask you to do this for me, if you will. Would you hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel? And uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a pride thing. It's 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Gus and I just left the house. See those porch lights back there? We just left the house. And uh, on our money, Monday, today's Monday. Today's Monday. I believe it's the 16th of September. And uh, we didn't walk. We didn't walk Saturday or Sunday. Really dark. All right, we've been our mile out from the house. We've been a mile and a half, just turned around. I mean, I just turned around. Now, the good thing about this walk is that about a mile and two tenths of it have a downhill grade. The bad thing about this walk is that about a mile and two tenths of it, the last mile and two tenths are uphill. Not steep, steep uphill, but enough that, you know, you can just tell that you're in a little bit more of a strain than you were. I, uh, back in the first part of this walk, I was feeling really energetic. And I actually jog. I just decided to take off on a jog. Can you believe that? I jogged. Probably a good five yards. <laughs> no, I probably jogged about maybe 50, 75 feet. I want to say 100 feet, but I'm thinking, no, I don't, I don't want to exaggerate. But you know what? If I could jog 50 feet today, if I keep walking, keep losing weight, I might jog 150 feet down the road and then more. I'm really not into jogging. It's not really that important to me that I jog years ago when I was quite a bit heavier and younger. The doctor told me, he said, don't jog. He said, you'll crush your knees. And now my knees are 64 years old. And for a lot of those 64 years, they've carried around a lot of weight. But this is Monday. And so, so technically I've been weighing every day. I know, you know, everybody says don't do that. But I've learned that on this journey that my emotions are better if I weigh every day. Even though I'm four tenths of a pound heavier than I was a couple of days ago, I have a net weight loss in one week of five pounds. And I'm ecstatic about that. Now, now did, I, did I lose five pounds of fat? Eh, probably not. But if I can just get rid of some unhealthy fluid, that makes me feel better, makes my weight go down, helps me burn fat. So I'm a, I'm a net five pounds down from what I was last Monday. So I'll take that. I'm doing the carnivore diet. It's a great diet, has a lot of benefits to it. One of those benefits is the fact that I'm out here walking, that I have the energy, that I have the energy at six o'clock in the morning to get out and go for a three mile walk. Other benefits include uh, 
better emotional wellness and uh, better, better mental clarity and weight loss. A lot of people are doing the carnivore diet to lose weight. A lot of people. There are videos all over YouTube. Dr. Kim Berry, I watched a video from Dr. Berry just a couple of days ago. I think the title of that video is Using the Carnivore Diet to Lose Weight. And he, Are you ready to lose some weight? He was very positive about the fact that the carnivore diet is a weight loss, can be weight loss. A lot of people are on carnivore diet that don't need to lose weight. I mean, a lot of the people in the YouTube, the carnivore YouTube space are people that are very fit and don't need to lose weight. And, and they're using the carnivore diet for other reasons. I get that. But I mean, people like the carnivore couple, they're a young couple. He's lost a hundred and I think it was, I watched a video from them recently and I think it was, I think it's 150 pounds. I believe he's lost 150 pounds doing the car. Welcome to our channel, we're the car of our couple. I'm Pat. And I'm Caitlin. And over the last 18 months, I've lost 140 pounds on the carnivore diet. So yeah, yeah. Carnivore diet can be a weight loss diet. It could be for other reasons. It's a wellness. It's a wellness diet that gets all the crap out of you. Gets all that crap, all those processed things. It just gets all that crap. Even, even some of the vegetables that we eat, they're genetically altered and they're just, they're just, they're, they're just junk. That's where I'm at today, 64 years old and uh, walking three miles and loving life. Finished my walk, three miles. I want to leave you with this. Today, let God, and when I say God, I mean the one and true God, the God who created heaven and earth, the God of the, the, of the Bible, have a role in your life. Let him be, let him be not just a role, but the leader of your life through, first of all, having a relationship with his son, Jesus Christ, giving him your heart, your life, living for him. And then every day of your life, say, God, I want you to be in the center of my life today. I want you to lead me. I want your voice to talk to me. I want you to give me instructions. I want you to give me wisdom. I want you, Lord, I want, I want you. And it, it may sound weird to you if you're, you never heard that lingo before, but God will, God will absolutely take a role in your life. And he will speak to you through your heart, through your mind. He will speak to you. He'll give you wisdom. He'll give you direction. He'll give you joy. He'll give you peace. And I want to remind you of this. Jesus himself said, and it's written in John 10, 10, he said, the thief, the thief is Satan, only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I have come that they, that's you and me, that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly to the full. One, one translation says more abundantly. Another translation says to have it to the full. Have that life today. And I want to encourage you today to choose life. There was a time when I didn't know what to do, but God came on the scene and he helped me. There was a time that I didn't know what to do, but I cried out to God and he came and he helped me. God helped me. God, I would not be here today if God had not helped me. I wouldn't be standing on this podium this morning if God had not helped me. I might not even be alive anymore if God had not helped me. And David and said I did this I accomplished this but it wasn't because of my own strength it was because God helped me